Warning, the following video contains a guy being a real pussy while playing a game. He screams, he shouts, and there's a little bit of pee. If you are scared of scary things too like this pussy, I would recommend you turn off the video now. If not, continue straight ahead. You have been warned. Make sure you got the volume down, as he is a big pussy. Enjoy. Hey everybody. God, I'm that looks... Benny Bloxy. That looks freaky as shit. Yeah, this game's... The game's not nice. It's called White Noise. It's called White Noise. It's slender before the Xbox with all Xboxy graphics and shit. Can we just say it's half eight at night and it's pitch black, we've got the lights on. So. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this let's play. Let's just do it. Okay, <laughs> oh. What's that? What's that? Why ah! does this game already have to scare me? There's a goat. I don't like it. I can't even remember the controls. Right. The triggers are sprint. Right. Okay. Okay. Get away from me, you crazy bitch. Right. From what I know, you pick up tapes instead of notes. Okay. That just look like giant... Like cassette tapes, like giant cassette tapes. Okay. Like really giant. <laughs> and uh. Like impossible to miss. Really impossible to miss if like you it is in your sight kind of thing. Because I think there's one around this house somewhere. It's like you hear that stuff. There's one right there. Yeah, they're, they're pretty massive. One are they? Where? Ben, calm down, Jesus. You don't understand. <laughs> okay, so Chris, you, you You know what, to make the tension better for you. You go on. I'm gonna tell you a story oh God. about some paranormal experiences that I've had in my life. Oh I've got one for you afterwards as well. Pretty scary, okay. I was in I was ten, again, living in Warsaw. Right. Warsaw's Still. the place where shit happens. Oh what yeah. You've been me. Okay, the street name was Princess Avenue. Alright. It was at the house at the bottom. Now, Warsaw is where a load of miners used to live. Yeah. Like train workers. Cause there, was, kind of, there used to be like a train Ooh. depot around there. Oh. Yeah, so. In this house, one night. Yeah. This is when my room was getting redecorated. I was in my sister's room. Alright. The door to the landing was wide open. I wake up. Yeah. God knows what time it was because I was 10 and I didn't have a fucking phone. <laughs> we didn't yeah. have technology. Yeah, this was like. Caveman days. I was 10, this is like 2000. 2000 and uh, like four, 2004. Yeah, 2004. Yeah, 2004. Yeah. So yeah, I wake up in the night. I got a cabin bed, so it was like pretty high up. Yeah. Wake up, I look into the landing. Yeah. And I see this shadow figure. Right, like the okay. one from the game earlier. Okay, but this shadow figure looked like it was a miner because it had like a hard hat on. Okay. And. Oh, I found as it, the as tape. It, I found the tape. As it looked at me, it had red eyes. Oh. oh! Ah! <laughs> as it looked at me, it had red eyes. And it just walked off to the distance to where my room is. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, I'm not The next day, my stepdad at the time, he went upstairs into their room, which is right next to my room, to grab some out there, and as he leaves, Door slams behind him. Right. And leaves the room. That's no windows open or anything like that. That's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Ben? <laughs> it's your turn. No, I'm good. <laughs> Does that mean I have to play again? Yeah, that means you have to play again. Oh, God. We'll do it one more time. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll continue with the story. I'll get you a Scooby snack. Okay. Wouldn't you actually call it a Bloxy snack, considering it's my Skittles? You're just there munching away on my. No, I gave you a build a hamburger. Yeah, cool. Alright. Yeah, Back to this bullshit. So yeah, the door slams behind him. No windows are open, anything like that. Hmm. A couple of weeks later, I'm in my room with a friend, playing on a. Right. Played on a really old computer. It was so old, it was just one of those blue screens where you have to enter commands to do anything. And it, well, played, no, yeah. and it played tape games. I had Paperboy. So we used to sat there playing Paperboy. Really like old. Ski Freak. 
Oh well, yeah, Thomas Tank Engine did as well, where he has to like, control the tract. Nice. Very retro stuff. <laughs> People are like this, like, what? Hmm. What? Cassettes for games? I miss those games. I do. They didn't do shit like this to me. <laughs> no. So yeah, uh... Although the Yeti on the ski for used to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> That's a true story as well. We're sat there, yeah? Then I just get like this cold shoulder, look at the door, then again, there's the shadow outline. Not the figure, just the outline, like it's on my door, just looking at us. Right. We turn the la we, we like move left and right to see if it's just one of our shadows, but it couldn't have been. Because the computer was like towards the bed and the door to the right. Right. There's no way in reflection to get on there. So we turn the light on because we're scared. Turn mm. it off, on, on, off. Off and on um, again. This is where it gets fucking creepy. I open the door. You say that just as I walk into this. I open the door, it's there. The figure? The figure is right there in front of me. Oh, that was and bad. Right there in front of me, we both scream. Mm. Because I had a cabin bed that had like a build Good wardrobe. The fucking doors and that slam open. Yeah. And That's pretty and weird. And <laughs> <laughs> as we as we look back into the hallway, see if it's still there. All we notice is then the uh, the compartment to get to the attic. <laughs> the compartment to get to the attic is shaking. Why is this guy fucking with me? What the attic was shaking? But why is it fucking? You know, with like you know, to get into the attic, you know, like the little panel that covers it up. Oh yeah. That was shaking. So I our best bet was it was hiding in the attic. Well, that's where it's. You decided to hit hide in no, the attic. No, no, the no, the whatever it was. It was in the attic. Yeah, because it, when when the cabin doors liked open, as we look back into the hallway, we just saw that light moving. We figured it's up there, but like a week after that, we moved out. Oh, I'm so good. glad we did. Apparently, no one's ever stayed there that long. We still talk to the neighbours. No one stays there that long, and they hear screaming sometimes as well. Oh shit! So yes. Shit. <laughs> Ever since I've been doing a filming for TV, I want to go back there. Alright. Film something. It's like, like a doc documentary about to talk to people that live there. That'd find out who used to live there. Yeah, I think that would be a pretty good thing to do. You know what? That is an interesting story, yes. But you know what I've just found interesting about this game? What? For once, you are not a very out of shape little girl. <laughs> Have you not noticed that with every slender rip off game? Oh, yeah. You're always an out of shape little girl. With this, you're a. Semi in shape blow. And that's a snake head. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to end! And that's a snake head. <laughs> <laughs> one more try! One more try! <laughs> no, I think we should end it there. That's. No, I gotta tell you about my part of the story. That... Just tell you the menu. Tell your story then. I want you to have a go. I don't want to play. You do want to play. I've played this twice now. You owe me this much. Don't like indie games. I'm playing again. Right, anyway, tell your story, my story is uh, back. What time is it? Half eight. Right. When um, me and Jared were like 15, 16. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, we made out that we could talk to ghosts. We made it out too to yourselves. Like you thought to yourself semi, we could talk to ghosts. Semi us, but we kind of both knew we were bullshitting. Okay. So like, say like Jared said it and he was like, oh, I can as well. Hey, I no, know. I said it first. <laughs> Jared came out. I was the crazy one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jared followed suit. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Jared, if you're watching this, hi. Hi, Jared. <laughs> Don't um, dislike the video. He will. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah. And uh, we told people. That was the first mistake. We told people. And they believed you? One did. That was our friend Jane. You know. Do you know Jane? Jane McMillan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, bleep it, by the way. <laughs> Can um, I bleep it, yeah? Thingy. Um, we told her that we could talk to ghosts, so she said, oh, we should go to the graveyard and talk to the ghosts. So well, which, mean, which one? The one, the one up there. Houston. The one... Oh, Forest Town. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we thought, oh, why not? It might be a laugh. Okay. And uh, me and Jared were making out we were seeing someone by the little ditch bit before you get to the school that there was someone pointing. Yeah. 
And that's a great thing, by the way. It's a graveyard next to a fucking school. Which is still there. Of course, Bridge. graveyard still is still there. there. Um, yeah, carry on. And what happened was, uh, she was like, oh my god, yeah, I see it. What's he pointed to? And as she were looking, me and Jared were there, like, you know, just laughing at each other kind of thing. Like, <laughs> kind of thing we got a full yeah, kind of thing. Okay. And then we turned to Jane, and she's just staring blankly over in this one direction. Okay. And uh, what happened after that was, me and Jared turned to look, and all we saw was a girl, fully in white, no lie, leant over this grave, and as soon as Jared went, uh, the kind of thing, like... Does that made a noise? Yeah. The girl turned her head towards us, and looked like she was standing up. Jane was like going, oh my god. But when she turned around to see if we were there, me and Jared were gone. <laughs> <laughs> we so didn't save her. We were gone. We were getting the fuck out of there. So you left. We saw her at school the next day. We didn't mention a thing. <laughs> like nothing happened. Nothing happened, but it was one of the worst experiences of my life because I never ran that. Fuck it. I just realized <laughs> I was not moving about in this game. I could have died like we did in Zombies. <laughs> so did you ever, have you ever been back to the graveyard too? It took me a good while to go back to that graveyard. Ever Is since. there anyone there for you to visit? Uh, I have a, I apparently have a family member there, but I never knew the guy kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, no, as far as I know, I don't I don't have any graves to visit. Yeah. What you? In general. I, no, I don't have any graves to visit. I, as far as I know, the people that have died in my life is someone online. Yeah. And my great grandma. And never really used to talk to her anyway. I mean, I was sad that, you know, she died. Yeah. Because obviously it's a family now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but at the same time, I didn't know the person. It was, I mean, I used to talk to my great grandma all the time, but then obviously as I got older, yeah. 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 So, it weren't my great grandma, by the way, I saw her at the book thing. This was before. <laughs> <laughs> this was before she died. Um, Wait, you see a relative happy not sad oh yeah I'd still be pretty scared I saw a ghost I'd be there like Ben I'm happy to well, see you and I'd be there like ah! well normally it wouldn't be a ghost you know, you'd just like okay this this actually happened again Warsaw Princess oh is this Avenue. the thing about your granddad yeah Warsaw yeah. Princess Avenue in the, oh, in the kitchen this is the first time I ever cooked something as well oh go you go you <laughs> making beets on toast oh wow you truly so, made a fucking beast <laughs> first, the first meal <laughs> beets on toast so yeah, I'm there. Just drop my phone. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just there slaving away the toast, buttering it away. Look out just look yeah. out the window. See my granddad just like two weeks after he died. Hmm. Just feel really happy. Yeah. So, I mean but then I look back to see if he's just behind me. So I look back, then look back at the window, he's gone, but I still feel happy. Yeah. It's like that's his way of saying goodbye. Yeah, that is pretty sweet in that. I mean so, like, I have mixed feelings about like ghosts and stuff. I mean, who, what I could have saw could have been just some weirdo. What I could have saw could have been a demon from hell. You know what I mean? It's with me, with my opinion, it's always a could be thing. It could be one or the other. Just gives you hope for afterwards. Yeah, it does give you hope. I mean, I I was pretty sad about the person that died online. Yeah. The way I got happy about it was. It was like two years after she died, like the day before, I had a dream about what would have happened if like, I was there kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I lived with them and I, I was happy and I, and I got over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <gasps> this guy is so rude. Anyway, we're actually beating that. We that was white noise. Fuck this game. We're out of here. Got to fucking feed Bye. our